Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt Devine with Raccoon Society here in New York, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately on the subject of heartbreak and breakups, and I firsthand know exactly how devastating that feels, um, but I also know how empty sometimes words of advice from other people are when you're in that state of mind. So I thought it might be more of a comfort for you if I actually showed you the fact that you're not alone and that everyone I know, including, as you'll see, a lot of artists that we admire have been in the exact place we are right now, and they survived. So I took a camera crew backstage to Warp Tour and to Lollapalooza this summer, and I interviewed over 30 artists and asked them each to describe their experience with heartbreak and also to give us a little wisdom as to how they were able to move beyond it. So enjoy this video, stay strong, hang in there, and as always, eat your vegetables. How would I describe heartbreak? How would I describe heartbreak? Heartbreak? Oh my god. To me, it's something that feels really lonely because it feels like you're the only one that has been there before. It like sucks worse than anything. It makes you feel like you don't know yourself. It feels like poison in your blood. The whole world is closing in on you. Getting hit by a Mack truck. Almost like physical pain, you know, like pit of your stomach. You feel like somebody shot you in the stomach. You feel like someone is sitting on your chest and you physically can't get them off. It's a heavy burden to carry. Like I just felt like my rib cage was being shattered. An emptiness that's not fillable by anything else. Kind of like losing a best friend. I know that I went through a depression for probably about three weeks. It's terrible in the moment, but usually kind of ends up being like, oh, that happened because this other thing needed to. Yeah, they might have broke my heart, they might have hurt me, but I'm glad to be where I am now. It's fucking brutal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional about it right now. Try and think logically and rationally. Sharing usually usually helps, you know? And not like over like internet sharing, but like, like actual, real, like personal share. Your job in life is to figure out what the next thing that's gonna happen is and go for it. I exercise to get out frustration. The best advice I could give anybody is to concentrate on yourself and focus on the things that you want to do in life. Focus your energy and whatever emotions you feel on doing something creative. Write it down. For, for me, it always helps to look at it on paper. I'm happier when I'm helping other people. Pain can be a growing experience. As painful as it is, it does force you to become a stronger Person. Don't do anything drastic just because you know the pain is so bad maybe at the moment. Don't go out and get wasted and just kind of, you know, whatever, take drugs and things like that. You can't make someone fall in love with you with a song. Do the things that you never did before. It's not replacing, it's kind of like filling the gap. You have to live your life. It's not over. Be happy because like there's a there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Accept the way things are. Watch a lot of movies. Keep your head above water. I would say surround yourself with people like that you're close to you. Crying regularly makes you more of a man. It's okay to hurt and to feel and move on, have some self-respect. It can always be worse. It's gonna get better, you know, it always gets better. Know that everybody goes through it.